Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Wheeljack. Before we look at Wheeljack himself, we're going to look at the packaging. Here we got Takara Transformers Generations, Transformers Earthrise, War for Cybertron, Trinity, and artwork of our bot we'll be reviewing is Wheeljack, because I like Wheeljack. I am going to get the cliff jumper down the line. Now we're going to look at the artwork on the other other side of the box. We got Optimus, Quintesson, we got Optimus Prime there, Wheeljack, Trailbreaker, RC, Sideswipe, um, I think that's, sh looks like Shockwave, if my, my guess is right, and Double Dealer, I'm guessing, and Quintesson, Megatron. Got the Ark and the Nemesis and Unicron right there. And we got the 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 tech specs if you want to look at them. And there we have the bio. If you wish to read it, I'm not gonna bother reading it. <laughs> Hasbro, and there we got the warning, all the warning stuff. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's take a look at Wheeljack Nickel Mode. He rolls. For one thing should. Now I should get down to comparisons. Here he is next to the current Wheeljack from Transformers Cyberverse. And because I don't own any other Wheeljacks of different variations, here he is next to Prime Wheeljack. That's all there is to say for that. So now we're going to get down to the transformation. We're going to unplug this piece. Oh, I forgot to show off one thing. You can put a shoulder cannon as a little missile turret on top of the car. It's an option. Now we're going to get down to transformation. We're going to start by um, un we're going to unpeg these arms. For ah, the wheel popped off. Yeah, these wheels pop off very easily. So I have some fuss for getting things untabbed. I don't know if it's my figure or if it's all the figures. I don't know. And now we're going to pull these out to the side. Flip up Wheeljack's head. Loosen his legs. And <laughs> there goes this piece. Which we're going to put back on. Like so. Pieces are popping off this guy. I'm sorry. They're popping off. Now we're going to rotate the legs. We're going to take this roof section. And that will become his chest. Which is very good. Flip around his arms. Hold down his arms. Flip it around. Got his legs all set up. Flip his toesies. And we're going to give him his little, we're going to flip around his hands and he can hold this. And there we have my wheel jack, my Earthrise wheel jack. The, the little gun, the little shoulder cannon used as a gun is an option. I don't like it very much, so I'm going to take this off and put it in this peg to give him his classic G1 cannon to flip these pieces around. And there we have our G1 looking wheel jack. And because he needs a gun, a regular gun, I have this Connectabots gun. I had Connectabots at one point. So the gun suits my wheel jack. Now we're going to get down to a robot comparison. which is very easy to transform, this one. Here he is next to Cyberverse. Real Jack. Um, they are different. But that's to be expected from a one-step. Now we're going to compare him to Prime, which I'm going to have to transform off-camera. 
So you won't see that figure until I transform it, which can be a bit of a hassle. Getting things on pegs, stuff like that. That sounds like it's going smoothlier than usual. <laughs> than usual. <laughs> uh. But I've memorized this transformation on this one very well, plus the new Earthrise. And now we're going to... Now we're straightening out Earth, the uh, the prime wheel jacks legs. I don't have any other wheel jacks to compare this aside for Cyberverse. True. But in truth, I didn't get around to getting any other wheel jacks in my collecting years. So this is my first G1 wheel style wheel jack. I didn't get the Combiner Wars or the Energon based Wheeljack because for some reasons I totally was oblivious of that one. And I've been a toy collector for almost a year now. So if I find them, I will make sure to add them to my collection. But I think I got him. I got him transformed. Let's give Jackie his swords to compare him next to the Prime, the uh, Earthrise Wheel Jack I have. But just for the sake of this review, because I wanted to review a posable Wheel Jack, here he is next to Prime. Prime is a little bit different than the Earthrise Wheel Jack. I don't have the Generations, I don't have the Combiner Wars, or the Energon Cliff Jumper, which looks like Wheeljack. And that's all there is to say for Wheeljack. Where I got this? I got this from Amazon for only 20 bucks. I had to get my hands on this guy. Because I wanted a G1 style wheeljack for so very long. I didn't, I don't have the G1 toy either, but I like wheeljack. He's the brains of the Autobots, and I like him. Yet again, 23 bucks. Is he, 20 bucks, is he worth it? Yes. Now this is Eddie Hill, moving on. And rock on and rock out.